Uh, number three, here. That's the cutting tool, but it's number three on the. On the yeah, so let's say you want to cut, you zoom in, and let's say you want to cut right here. Right now with the number three tool, anywhere that I click is going to cut. So I have to cut, and let's say I cut here. When I'm done, I got to switch back to this tool. Or just hit the number one. That's where the shortcuts come in handy. One and three is, that's the one you use the most. Right here, yeah. yeah, so now you're able to manipulate just this. You can go ahead and add effects just to that, or uh, if you hold down Alt, it copies it, and you can drag it down to a new channel. If I hit D, it duplicates it, so you have full control of it as a, as a clip. Um, Preguntas? <laughs> well, I've been editing music for like 14 years, <laughs> like 13, 14 years, using different software. So, so this was just, I finally found the software that did everything that I wanted. Like for me to do this in another software, I would have to take all the songs, bring them into one software, just to get them at the... At, all at the, at the same BPM. So if I have five songs and they were at different BPMs, I had to wait for that software to process each and every song and put them at one BPM so I can mix them. And let's say that I wanted to do some editing. I couldn't do this. Like if I double click, what this does, it brings me this same clip right here, but bigger so I can edit it. If I needed to do like a fine cut or things like that, I would have to bring that segment into another software to do editing and then bring it back in. So it's like using all these different softwares just to be able to do one thing, where here it's like I have everything. Um, and also the quality, the quality of the sound, the effects, that to me is, is, is a big plus because I had to rely before on like other companies, I had to buy other plugins just to get a good delay, just to get a good compressor, to get good reverbs. Where here, I really find myself using a lot of the internal plugins uh, that come with Studio One. Yeah, actually, um, I don't think I have a video available, but if you drag in a video here, it doesn't edit the video, but you can line it up at least. Or you can extract the audio from the video. Yeah, that's, what I'm yeah, that's like uh, one button. You insert the video, and it has an option that says extract audio. It'll automatically you know, take the audio out of it. That's another cool thing. Like Some of you guys do video mixing, and you might have a video edit that the audio sounds good and you want to use it as audio. So you can just go ahead and put it in here, extract the audio, and then export it as, a, as an MP3. So this program, it doesn't mix for you, does it? I mean, once you take, let's say, the five songs, you have to put it where you want to Oh, yeah. I mean, you still have to do Yeah, it's, it's, it's not like auto-mixing. No, no, no. But it does give you um, the ability to do it easily and to still feel like you're like you're DJing. Like for me, I, I do a lot of stuff, and a lot of stuff too translates one way or the other. Like sometimes I'll do an edit, I'll do something here, then I'm like, man, I could, I could do that live. And I'll go, so it kind of opens up, you know, expands your, your, your creativity. Um, like I did, a, I did a video mix that's on my Facebook where I'm like triggering samples and all that stuff. I did it here first. So I thought of the idea and I put it together here and then I'm like, okay, now I'm gonna take out all the elements and I'm gonna do it live. So that also can help you with your live DJing if you wanna do mashups or if you wanna do a little bit more creative. It'll help you because you are able to see and you're able to sit down and manipulate everything and put everything together and then practice it 
in, in a live uh, environment. Well, no, it, it's, it, you know, it doesn't, ma it matches up the beats per minute. Uh, let me go back to, there's another cool thing that it does. I can open up multiple projects, uh, songs at the same time. So. Yeah, well, here the first thing you need to do is tell the software what tempo it is. Once you do that, then it'll put them at the same tempo, whatever tempo you have down here. So this mix, no matter where, what tempo they are, they're being put at 98 BPM. That's what I set here. Exactly, yeah. So from there, from there you just got to line it up and know where you want the beat to start and then figure out what effects you want to use so that you can make it work. Obviously, if you put the beat off B, it's going to sound off B. <laughs> that part, you know. Um, and you really don't want, I mean, if you're going to get into this kind of editing, you don't want any software to do anything for you because you want to have control of, of what it is. You know, the cool thing about working is, is like I showed you guys here, is being able to copy things and, and maintain things uh, on beat. Let me show you another, another, um, Another mix. This is an edit. Instead of doing a mix, I also do edits. I wanted to do a couple of different versions of the song. I can use the mute tool and just mute and unmute certain parts of the song. So I don't have to redo the whole edit to have like an acapella intro and then a beat intro. Uh, so in this case, if I want the instrumental version, I just go like this. So now if I want the acapella version, I mute the beat and I just unmute my a cappella intro. So I can export two different versions and have them just by muting and unmuting just those clips. Um, I can also take this whole segment. So let's say I wanted to create another version of this. I could just take everything and hit the letter D and duplicate it. And now make whatever changes I want and export just, just this segment here. So I just duplicated the whole song and I could do another version if I want to do it that way. Uh, and then just there's actually a, a key command, a shortcut, uh, Alt Y. It's going to move this start and end to here. So now I can export just this. And then once I'm done, I can do Alt Y and export just this. So those are some of the cool features. The duplication part of it doesn't just work with clips. It could work with a whole song. Um, and I don't have to open up a new song to do a different edit. Everything stays the same. Um, so that, that's another cool feature that it has. Um, what, the edit? Oh, that's just an edit. It's just, it's just the song, yeah. It's, it's not a whole mix. I have another mix here. Um, this is like a hip-hop kind of, I called it hip-hop twerk. These were remixes that were already done from different DJs. I just went in and um, did a mix. So 
I didn't do here. What I did was. I just came in with no bass. That's all I did. Um, if I turn it back on to cut the bass. So I cut the bass on this on this song. The other one just came in regular. So just, just a bass cut. And again, I like to leave those breaks because that gives me an opportunity to talk or to put drops in.